Right now, as you're watching this, you're spinning. Not metaphorically, literally. You're standing on a giant sphere rotating at over 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator. <laughs> That's faster than the speed of sound. And yet, you don't feel a thing. No wind in your face, no tilt, no tug, no sense that you're moving at all. So here's the big question. If Earth is spinning so fast, why does it feel like we're standing still? At first glance, this seems totally counterintuitive. When you're in a car, you feel acceleration. When a plane takes off, you feel it in your gut. Even elevators give you that little stomach flip. So how can an entire planet be rotating at breakneck speed and we don't even notice? Shouldn't we be constantly leaning sideways? Shouldn't objects fly off? Shouldn't there be some sensation of motion? The short answer is no, but the long answer? That's where things get fun. Let's start with why this even feels confusing in the first place. Our brains are wired to sense motion through change, acceleration, deceleration, bumps, jerks. If you're moving at a constant speed in a smooth ride, you barely notice. That's why sitting in a fast-moving train feels calm, but pulling out of the station feels like movement. Your inner ear, the part responsible for balance, isn't measuring speed. It's measuring changes in speed. So if the Earth spins at a constant rate and nothing is pushing or pulling us to change that, your body has no reason to sound the alarm. To you, stillness and motion feel the same. But wait, if Earth is spinning that fast, why don't we feel the wind rushing past us? Why doesn't the atmosphere just get flung into space? The answer is beautifully simple, and it all comes down to the fact that everything is spinning together. The air, the oceans, the trees, your chair, and even your breakfast cereal. They're all part of the same rotating system. When Earth spins, it's not dragging everything along. It's all already moving with it. From the moment the planet formed, everything on its surface has been rotating with it at the same speed. There's no friction to rip us off. We're not being flung. We're in orbit around the center of mass. Just like someone juggling a spinning basketball, once it's spinning smoothly, everything on it spins as one. So next time you look up at the stars and wonder why it's so quiet, so still, remember it's not because nothing is moving. It's because everything is, and you're part of it. Okay, so we've established that everything on Earth is spinning together. That's why we don't feel the movement. We're part of the ride. But here's where it gets even more interesting. If you've ever been on a smooth plane flight, you already know what this feels like. Imagine cruising at 900 kilometers per hour at 10,000 meters altitude. You can walk down the aisle, pour a drink, even balance a pen on your tray table. Why? Because you're moving at the same speed as the plane. You're inside the system. There's no wind hitting you, no force pushing you back. It's only when the plane accelerates, turns, or shakes that you feel motion. Constant speed? Your body just goes along for the ride. Now scale that idea up to planet Earth. We're not just sitting on a surface. We're passengers inside a massive rotating vehicle. And since that vehicle isn't rapidly changing speed or direction, we don't feel anything strange. But wait! If Earth is spinning, doesn't that cause any effects at all? Actually, yes, and here's where the hidden physics starts to reveal itself. One of the coolest consequences of Earth's rotation is the Coriolis effect. M you've probably heard the name tossed around in weather forecasts or video games involving sniper bullets. But what is it really? Let's break it down. Imagine you're standing at the equator and you toss a ball straight north. Because you're spinning eastward at over 1,600 kilometers per hour. The ball carries that eastward speed with it. But as it moves north, it's entering areas of the Earth that spin more slowly, closer to the poles. From the ground, it looks like the ball curves to the right. It's not being pushed by anything. It's just conserving its momentum while the Earth beneath it moves at a different speed. This invisible deflection is what causes massive weather systems like hurricanes to spin in different directions in each hemisphere. It's also why long-range missiles need complex targeting systems to account for the planet literally moving underneath them. So even though you don't feel the Earth turning, the physics of rotation is quietly shaping the world around you, from wind currents to ocean patterns to the flight paths of airplanes. Earth's spin is like an invisible hand guiding the motion of everything above the surface. But what if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning? That's a thought experiment worth exploring because the answer shows just how much we depend on that constant quiet motion to keep our world in balance. Let's try a wild thought experiment. What if somehow Earth suddenly stopped spinning, just froze? No gradual slowdown, just an instant halt. 
what would happen? The short answer? Chaos. The longer answer is a fascinating look at how deeply connected we are to Earth's motion. Remember, everything on the surface is moving with the Earth. And at the equator, that's about 1,670 kilometers per hour. If the Earth stopped but the air, oceans, and buildings didn't, they'd keep moving at that speed. It would be like slamming the brakes on a spinning amusement park ride, except everything not bolted down would go flying sideways. Entire oceans would surge across continents. The atmosphere would whip into colossal windstorms. Buildings would crumble. It would be the mother of all natural disasters. Now, thankfully, this isn't going to happen. There's no force in the universe likely to make Earth suddenly stop rotating. But this extreme scenario highlights something important. Motion, when it's constant, feels like nothing. But motion is everything. It defines the environment we live in. It shapes the forces we take for granted. Like gravity, day and night, even the bulge of the planet at the equator. Wait, did you catch that last one? The Earth isn't a perfect sphere. It's slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. Why? Because of rotation. The spinning creates a tiny outward force, centrifugal force, that pushes mass outward near the middle. It's the same effect as when you spin a pizza dough and it flattens out. If Earth weren't rotating, the planet would be more spherical. But because it is, the equator is about 21 kilometers farther from the center than the poles. This even affects gravity slightly. You actually weigh a tiny bit less at the equator than at the poles, just because of how the planet spins beneath you. And this brings us to a beautiful point. We don't feel the spin of the Earth in the way we expect, because we're not separate from it. We are part of the spin. It shapes the land we stand on, the air we breathe, and the balance of our own bodies. Just because we can't feel it in our bones doesn't mean it's not there. It means it's working perfectly. The very reason it feels like nothing is because it's everything. So let's put it all together. We don't feel the Earth spinning because we were born spinning. From the moment you took your first breath, the planet beneath you was already rotating. Your body, your senses, your balance system, everything is calibrated to a world that turns steadily every 24 hours. There's no sudden jolt, no dramatic acceleration. Just a quiet, smooth ride through space, and when motion is constant, it becomes invisible, like air, like gravity, like time itself. But even though we don't feel it directly, Earth's rotation leaves fingerprints everywhere. It shapes our weather. It bends the path of hurricanes. It flattens our planet ever so slightly at the poles. It causes subtle variations in gravity. It even determines how we measure time, because a day is literally the time it takes to complete one spin. Every sunrise, every sunset, Every shadow cast by a tree is part of this rhythm. It's not just astronomy, it's your daily life. And that to me is what makes this so beautiful. The fact that we can live on a massive rotating sphere hurtling through space and not feel a thing is exactly why life on Earth is possible. The calm is the clue. The stillness is the signal. When physics is working perfectly, we often forget it's there at all. But the next time you look up at the stars or watch the clouds curve across the sky, just remember, you are spinning. You've always been spinning. You're part of something enormous, elegant, and in constant motion. If that made you feel even a little more connected to this giant ride we all share, then go ahead. Tap like, share it with someone who thinks science is too abstract and subscribe to how it actually works. Because here, we turn the invisible into the unforgettable and give you the keys to understanding the world one spin at a time.